Hello and welcome to a courtside tennis review of the Rafa Origin by Babolat. This is an exciting racket because it's the first one to be officially released by Babolat that is most closely representing Rafa's actual racket. And there are a few key features of this racket that actually do make it stand out from the rest of the Pure Aero lineup. Most notably, possibly, is that super high swing weight. Babala is targeting a 365 swing weight. It's a little bit hard to put a number like that into perspective, but you'll either have to try it for yourself or take my word for it. It is not a easy racket to use, but if you can handle this kind of racket spec, you will be rewarded with a lot of plow through, a lot of stability, power if you can generate it yourself. Again, a racket this high in swing weight is going to demand a lot of refined technique from the player. But this racket will give you a very interesting insight into what Nadal's racket is actually like. So it's a racket that you can actually legitimately use. It's a real tennis racket, but it also doubles as a collector's item, which you can play tennis with and it will give you a taste of the real deal. So what else makes this racket unique? Well, as is true on the current lineup of other Pure Era rackets recently, Babolat has tightened up the string pattern. And the string pattern spacing, the density on this racket is very similar to that of the standard Pure Arrow. Not to be mistaken with the Pure Arrow Rafa, which is different from the Rafa Origin. And the last thing that really stands out as an interesting feature on this racket is the lack of dampening material in the layup of the racket. Rackets over the years have been constantly trying to improve the comfort factor. They want to be able to market rackets as being as arm friendly as possible. And ironically, sometimes the market feels like that has gone so far as they can't really feel the ball now that they have so much of the vibration dampened from the racket. So depending on who you are, there's always a happy medium between how much vibration and feedback you want from the racket versus how much you want it to be absorbed so that your arm doesn't necessarily take the abuse of that vibration. However, on the tour, it's very common for professional players to prefer as little dampening as possible to give them maximum feedback. That way they have as much sensation from the ball and the string coming through the racket down the handle to give them as much sensory data as possible and feel that much more connected to every shot. And that is something I definitely appreciate on this racket. I definitely feel a difference. It's subtle, but I do feel a little bit more vibration. And it's not the kind of shock vibration that just runs down your arm. It's kind of that lingering, soft background vibration. That is there a little bit more. And so if you can tune into that and your racket provides that for you, I think you can expect good feedback and appreciate it from this racket. But just to be clear, it's not some huge night and day difference. And if I have to be honest, I think the most arm worry thing about this racket would have to be that super high swing weight. Again, I wanna be very clear, if you are looking to switch to this racket, I could only recommend it for super, super advanced players. You know, swinging a racket like this and not cooperating with the weight, over time it could really tire out your arm. But again, I think the main attraction of this racket is the fact that it gives you insight and a taste of the real deal, Rafa's actual racket. And him being who he is, I think a lot of people are very curious. What is it like to play with his actual racket? What does it feel like? What benefits does it offer? And so it's very cool that Babolat has released something as close as they ever have before. So it doubles as a collector's item that you can also play legitimate tennis with. And if those reasons pique your interest on this racket, go ahead and give it a demo or buy one. There's really not any other racket quite like it. Very stable, lots of spin. You get pretty good feel on this racket. Again, the catch is just being able to cooperate with that weight. For this play test video, we had 16 gauge Hyper G strung in here at 52 pounds. And be sure to check out courtsidetennis.com for any racket or pickleball needs. You get free shipping over $50. And if you're ever in the Sacramento area, there are two locations. Really nice shop with a friendly staff and very accommodating inventory. Shoes, racket, pickleball paddles, etc. They have a lot of inventory. So check them out. There's one location in the Arden area and one location in Gold River. All right, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Take care now.